Hey pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a very special video. Today we are going to learn how to put on a custom splash screen on our Tyrannus. Now a lot of you guys already have this. If you do, go ahead and skip it. For the new guys that have been following the playlist, which has this logo right here, this logo, that's the playlist logo, and that's how you know you're following along with me, or you can just go to the playlist. I will link the playlist down in the video description, but if you're wanting a cool splash screen or a cool startup screen, this right here is the video for you. Okay, pilots, so what I want to do first is I want to show you guys what we're coming from, and I'm going to start up. Welcome to OpenTX. And you can see this is the current splash screen Switch that we working. have. It's nothing fancy. It's just the regular OpenTX. It's what comes stock on your Tyrannus. If you've been following the playlist all along, your radio should be in the most updated firmware. It should also be talking just like this. Uh, Amber should have came on and said, welcome to OpenTX. Welcome to OpenTX. Just like that. And we are going to learn how to change that too. But for now, let's get that screen updated. Let's get that old boring crap out of there and get a new splash screen on. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is what we've been doing. And that's keeping everything extremely organized. Because we're going to have a hard time moving through this playlist if we're not staying organized. So we're going to go ahead and click right click. We're going to hit new folder. And we're going to create a new folder called splash screen. Okay. Once you have that, go ahead and find it and open it. This is the folder that we are going to put everything inside of. The next thing you're going to need is paint. Go ahead and open up paint. Okay, now that we're in paint, you're welcome to just type regular text. You're welcome to take a picture and try to edit the picture and make it look as good as you want. Something I find real easy is I'll just go to a website, something like this. I'll pick something decent to work with, maybe like this. I'll type drain man and then there we go we got something semi decent that we can start with I mean that looks actually pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and use this for now we're gonna hit create logo go ahead and hit right click save image as and let's head over to our FPV folder and let's put it inside of splash screen and we will call it beginning because that's how we're starting hit save Okay, so head over to file, hit open, and then right here, there's mine already. If you weren't able to find it, you would have gone into your documents, FPV, and then head down to splash screen, and there it is. That's why we keep it organized. All right, so there we go. We've got our image. We need to open this up just a little bit. Go ahead and hit select, and select your image, and, ooh, and make it bigger. That way you got it. And you can see it already looks like crap. And that's, if you're expecting something fancy, I'm sorry, this is just not going to happen. Another thing to keep in mind is you are not going to get colors here. You're only going to get black and white. That is it. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to resize this image. So you need to change it over to pixels. Once you've got it into pixels, you've got to uncheck the maintain aspect ratio box. And you need to change this to 212 and 64 if you do not do this it is not going to work and if you didn't uncheck this box it's just going to change it back for you so press ok and then you can go ahead and re blow it up all right there she is now the next thing we want to do is hit file and we want to hit save as and we are going to save it in here and we are going to change the name you do not want the name to have a lot so we're going to hit final that's more one two three four five letters that's more than enough you need to change the type to a BMP that is the only way it's gonna work so we're gonna use monochrome and hit save do we want to do this yes yes we do this is what it's gonna look like on your Tyrannus so you have the option now to go ahead and edit it and clean it up a little bit which I'm definitely gonna do because I don't know that I like the way that looks just yet so let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit
Okay, so that looks pretty good. I like the way that looks. We'll have to see how it translates when I get over to the Tyrannus. Don't be afraid to do it a couple times. Get as creative as you want or don't spend any time on it. Whatever works for you, it doesn't matter. Uh, keep in mind if you erase something or edit something, I don't know if you know, but if you didn't know, you can hit Control Z or while you're still holding the left cursor, you can add the right and it will delete what you have done. For example, if I accidentally did this, I can right click and get rid of it or use control Z to get rid of it. So now that we've come this far, we're going to hit uh, file and then we are going to hit save. And now our image should be saved as the text final and it should look just like this. Next thing to do is to go over to Tyrannus and let's get it in. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to have your radio in the off position. You need to hold your two trim centers and turn on. That's going to put you in this. Once you're in this, you need to connect your Type-B USB to the back. You'll connect to the back right here. Okay, so now that you're connected to the computer, we need to go ahead and open up our companion. Once your companion is open, go ahead and hit Read Models and Settings. Make sure everything is good. There it is. That's everything, and it's looking good. The next thing we need to do is head over to Settings. Once you get into your Settings, everything should look like this. If you went ahead and updated firmware with me because you're following the playlist, then you're good to go. The next thing we need to do is hit OK. Now, normally, whenever you change something or edit something or whatever, you head right over here to Write Models and Settings to Radio. With the splash screen, it is not the same. You cannot do that. So you will head over here to where it says Write Firmware to Radio. And right here is where you're going to see the original OpenTX image. This will be the time that you will hit Use Another Start Screen. It's going to open up. You will head over to the FPV folder, splash screens, and there she is. Make sure you go for the one that says final as long as you followed my same ruling with that. Hit open and you'll see it right there and then go ahead and hit right to TX. It happens in a few seconds. Go ahead and click close when it becomes available and then when you're dismounting your radio, you're going to unplug first then flick it off. All right, pilots, let's check it out. Let's see how we did. Welcome to OpenTX. Wow, that's beautiful. Throttle warning. There is a little bit of fuzz right there. Let me show you again. See the fuzz Welcome right there? OpenTX. That is not my splash screen. That is a protecting film that I have on. You can see it peeling right here. I'm not going to take it off till it's totally shot because I want to protect this as long as I can. Switch warning. All right, pilots, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I mean, there was really not much to it. You just download your image, you edit it, and then you upload it onto the Tyrannus. So uh, we decided to use like an image of text. You're welcome to just do it with flat out text or get online, find a cool image and use that as your startup screen. If you want to get really awesome, you can do the text name image and then add an image, add a propeller, add something really cool to it, add the background of a motor. I mean, you can get as creative as you want with this. You can make whatever you want. Just follow those same guidelines that I laid out for you guys. And with that, you'll be okay. And keep in mind, you're not going to get nothing too fancy. So don't go trying to download the new Diatone GT Mamba frame and trying to put that on there because it just, it ain't going to happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.